Hello and welcome to another CloudWords video. My name is Mauricio and today I'll be reviewing iDrive. This cloud service has a bit of a twist to it. Although it primarily focuses on online backup, it folds a cloud storage aspect into its platform as well. But even without that part, iDrive is still one of the most powerful backup services we've tried here at CloudWords and the cloud storage part of it is really just a nice extra. We'll dive into all the details about iDrive in a minute, but first I want to remind you to please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon if you want updates on the latest news and cloud storage. So with that out of the way, let's just jump right in, shall we? iDrive is an online backup service first and foremost, and it's a damn good one at that. It's full of all kinds of backup features, and it's one of the fastest backup services according to our testing. We'll link to those speed tests in the description box below if you're interested. Of course, we'd be remiss not to mention the cloud storage aspects of iDrive. Arguably, the best part of it is basically just how much storage you get. The amount of cloud storage iDrive gives you is equal to your backup storage, and that goes up to 10 terabyte. That's a lot more than most dedicated cloud services. Plus, you get 10 gigabyte of free storage to try it out. All right now, basically, you know the gist of it now, so let's kick things off in this iDrive review with an overview of its features. Because iDrive is really like two services in one, we'll review both of those aspects separately. Let's start with the online backup part. iDrive lets you backup all kinds of devices, including mobile, servers, NAS, external drives, and personal computers on all major operating systems. It offers image-based backups, which means it lets you create an exact copy of either a drive on your hard disk or your entire device. You can choose to backup the cloud storage, a hard drive, or both. iDrive even lets you create a clone of your device, including your operating system, so you can easily recover your system after a failure. iDrive keeps up to 30 previous versions of your files, and there's no time limit to its versioning. Your files only get deleted when you choose to do so manually. The same goes for deleted files too. You can also share backup files of, uh, from the desktop app. We used to count iDrive speed as its basically biggest weak spot, but in our latest speed test, it proved to be one of the fastest online backup platforms. Plus, it has what's called block level uploads. The way block level uploads work is once you upload a file, any subsequent backups will only upload the parts of the file that have changed instead of re-uploading the entire file. This significantly speeds up the backups following the first one. All right, now for the cloud storage part. Admittedly, there's not much there iDrive uses the tried and tested sync folder model, same as Dropbox. Basically, all of your cloud files get downloaded to one folder on your computer and anything you paste into this folder will get uploaded to the cloud too, so you can access it on all your devices. Most importantly, iDrive has a selective syncing feature, which means that you can choose folders that you don't want to sync to your computer. These folders still get stored on the cloud, but they won't take up any space on your device. Unfortunately, you don't get one of the best features of cloud storage, and that's file sharing. You can send links to files in your cloud storage, and you can't collaborate on files online. In fact, the only thing iDrive's cloud storage provides is quick remote access to your files, and it doesn't really come with all the great stuff that we associate basically with dedicated cloud services. To compensate, you get a lot of space at the fraction of the cost of a tra traditional cloud storage service. iDrive's cloud storage doesn't eat into your backup space. So if you get the five terabyte plan, you get five terabyte of storage for your backups, plus another five terabyte of cloud storage or 10 terabyte in total. iDrive security is pretty airtight. iDrive is a zero knowledge service. And when it comes to cloud security, it really can't get any better than zero-knowledge encryption. Now, most cloud storage services are encrypted, but usually the company holds the encryption key, which means that they can decrypt and access your files, but with zero-knowledge encryption, only you basically own the encryption key, so you're the only one who can access your files. There's also two-factor authentication to secure your login info. iDrive keeps its data centers physically secure as well, and it has its security audited by third parties regularly. We found no holes in its privacy policy, which states that iDrive will never share your data with third parties without your express consent. And 
only uses it for internal purposes. The only exception to this rule is compliance with law enforcement, though this is basically standard practice and, well, something you probably cannot avoid in using a cloud storage service. For personal users, iDrives offers three different plans which are subdivided into different capacities. The free plan gives you 10 GB of free storage for your online backups, plus an extra 10 GB for cloud storage. There's two paid personal plans, though the smaller one, called iDrive Mini, isn't available in the US. Both plans have the same features apart from the career backup service, which you only get on the larger plan called iDrive Personal. You can choose to pay every year or every two years and a longer subscription comes with a bigger discount. Plus, all paid plans come with a discounted first year or two years depending on how long your plan is. You can even get a massive 90% discount if you move to iDrive from a competing backup service like Carbonite or Backblaze and you can access that special link in our description below to sign up for the 90% discount. The mini plan comes in four capacities ranging between 100 gigabyte and two terabytes. It costs anywhere between just $5 for the whole year for 100 gigabytes to around $50 per year for 2 terabytes. The 2 terabytes plan works out to around $4 per month, which is half the cost of our best cloud storage service, Sync.com. You can see our review of Sync.com right here on the channel if you're interested to see how they compare. iDrive Personal comes in two capacities, 5 terabyte and 10 terabyte. The 5 terabyte plan costs around $80 per year or just under $7 per month, which is still outrageously cheap for cloud storage. The 10 terabyte plan costs around $100 per year, which works out to just over $8 per month. Considering most cloud storage services charge around $8 for just 2 terabytes, that's really a steal. Of course, things look different when you compare iDrive's pricing to other backup services, especially ones that offer unlimited storage. For example, Backblaze charges just $7 per month for unlimited storage, though it can't really compare to iDrive's wealth of features. Besides, 10 terabytes should be plenty for most people, considering most people's hard drives are between like 500 gigabytes and 1 terabyte. So, what's the final word on iDrive? Well, that depends on what you're looking for. If you need an online backup service to hedge your bets against disaster, then you can't do much better than iDrive. If you're looking for a simple cloud storage service to just store your files so you can access them from anywhere, iDrive's your cheapest choice for that. But if you're looking for a fully featured cloud storage service, iDrive can't provide that. Instead, you can give our best cloud storage video a watch um, by clicking basically just right here in the pop-up box or perusing a written article which I'll link down in the description box below. So that's it for our iDrive review, folks. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more cloud storage content, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified whenever we release a new video. You can also visit our website where we do detailed written reviews. You can find the written version of all of what I mentioned in the description box below, as well as our best cloud storage article and our speed test results. Feel free to drop us a comment with any feedback you have or any other cloud services you'd like us to cover. And thank you very much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.